Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have a process video for you. Um, I am scrapbooking this picture that I took with Allie Edwards during the story camp that I went to last October. So I'm using the Felicity Jane Grace kit and what I did was I took um, a solid pink cardstock that came in the kit and I just used white acrylic paint, the Liquitex Basics Acrylics in white, and I just painted stripes um, all across it. I just wanted to get my fingers messy. Well, that's not true. I don't like to get my fingers messy. I just wanted to paint some stripes. And I was um, inspired by the Felicity Jane uh, box that the kit comes in, and it has the black and white stripes. So I thought I would just do pink and white stripes. So after I did that, I am doing my journaling. And I journaled after trying six times. I finally got into Allie Edwards' story camp. What an honor and such an inspiration. I love how she puts photos and works together. I'm so motivated to get more scrapbooking done. The best part, she's exactly as she seems online. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some mixed media on this as well. And so for the mixed media, I'm using a Tim Holtz stencil, but you can use any stencil you want. I'm using the Nouveau Mousse in French Rose. And it's kind of dried out here, as you can see. I need to contact Nouveau because a lot of my Nouveau Mousse has uh, dried out like that. This one I'm still able to use. So I'm going in a diagonal shape from top right to bottom left. And in the end, it, you can't even see what I did in the middle part. So that didn't even matter. So I am going ahead and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes. You can see that the mousse is really dried out there. And I made a huge mess and I got dots everywhere. But that's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect. So I'm using my scraps here and I'm going to go ahead and layer my photo. I'm using this solid cardstock that has scallops on the uh, bottom and I'm going to use my Tim Holtz 7 inch scissors and I'm just going to cut out the scallops there. And I'm going to put the photo on top of that so that the scallop shows on the bottom portion of the photo. Then I'm going to go ahead and do two more pieces of layering, one with flowers and one with a pink diamond shape, tone on tone. You'll see that there. And I'm using my ATG gun to go ahead and adhere that down. I'm using my Caterpillar Pro, which is my favorite paper trimmer because it has a LED light so you can see exactly where you're um, cutting. And it cuts the tiniest margin if that's what you want. So you saw that I flipped the flower over, flower paper over because I just wanted to see the edge of the flowers there and I didn't need to see all of it, but I didn't want it to be just white. So I do that and then I'm going to put this diamond piece of paper, the tone on tone diamonds, you can't really quite see that. And I'm going to put that onto the very bottom layer of the photos. I do end up putting some glassine, a uh, glassine envelope behind it as well. Um, and then I'm going to adhere that down to my cardstock once my cardstock is dry. Now, because the cardstock has texture, because I did the Nouveau Mousse, I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive to adhere this down so that it gets between all the grooves of the roses in the picture. So once I adhere that down, I'm going to go ahead and put place my, um, oh, you, there it is where I put the glassing envelope. <laughs> then I got to put another layer of the Tombow Mono Multi so that it adheres down to the uh, Nouveau Mousse. I'm going to title this Allie Edwards Simple, and I was so inspired by her uh, story camp. If you guys are able to, I highly recommend that you go. It is not cheap, but it is so worth it, and I've been doing so many more layouts and journaling on my layout since I went to that um, story camp and it was so fun my girlfriends and I went together so that was great so after I put the um, now that I have the title down I'm going to go through my embellishments and I need to keep this simple because I do have the Nouveau Mousse and the um, paper painted so I'm just putting a couple of puffy stickers down and I apologize you can't see the bottom. On the very bottom of the photo of the layout, I do have a little label there with a date stamp and I put another puffy sticker there. I am going to, of course, splatter and I'm going to splatter using my Heidi Swap Gold. Any gold will do. And I'm doing this because I have the label in the gold. Oh, there you can see it down there. So I'm putting the splatters on the three areas of embellishments, which is this top right, 
of the photo, bottom left of the photo, and the bottom left of the layout. And then I want to put some um, more embellishments. So I'm going to use my Nouveau Drops in Indigo, no, in Dragon Scales, which is like a pearly gre sea green, and it kind of matches the um, alphas that came with this kit. So I'm putting three dots in the three areas of embellishments, and then I call my layout done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and please share this with a friend. And I'll see you next time.